In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a quick and dirty method to create this liquid dripping animation effect out of a still image. So I will start again from scratch. Nuclear facade is gonna be my base image. So my first step is I want to mask out some of these drips, to isolate some of these drips on their own layers. So first of all, I'm going to duplicate this layer by going to edit, duplicate. Uh, the shortcut is control D on Windows. Um, I'm going to use this shortcut from now on to duplicate the layers. So here's a new layer. I'm going to rename that drip. And then I'm going to use the pen tool just to draw around the drip that I'm interested in. And when I see this um, circle, that means I can close the mask. And now if we turn off the base layer, you can see we've masked just this drip section of the layer and everything else has become transparent. So I want to do the same for all the other drips that I want to apply drippiness to. Um, so I can keep duplicating this base layer and keep drawing masks. You can also duplicate this drip layer, but remember that you'll want to um, delete the mask you've made um, so that you can create a new one. So make sure you delete a mask on any of these drip layers. So now I've masked out my drips. If I turn off the base layer, you can see them there. I could have done more, um, but in the interest of time, um, I'll leave it at this for now. So now I'm going to go um, and take each drip in turn. And there's a couple of steps to give them the kind of drippy effect. The first one is to move the anchor point to the very top of the drip. I do that by going into the pan behind tool and this little symbol here represents the anchor point so that needs to be moved so I can just click it and drag it onto the very top of the drip like that and now what I want to do is scale from that anchor point so if I expand um, the drip, expand transform and look at scale. I don't want to scale X and Y uniformly because this will happen. Um, what I actually want to do, I'll undo that, is decouple the X and Y dimensions and I only want to scale on the Y. And you can see it's scaling from that anchor point. So that's why we needed all the drips on different layers because each one will have a different anchor point. So here I have my playhead at zero frames right at the beginning of the animation. And, oh, sorry, that needs to be 100. If we go any less than 100, we'll see the drip underneath and that will look a bit odd. So we do want to be at 100 at frame zero. Set a keyframe. Then go to the end of the animation. For me, that's 30 seconds, 750 frames. And if I just um, go beyond 100%, it will scale and elongate in this kind of drippy method. I mean, you can only push it so far before it'll start to look a little bit pointy, a little bit weird, but you can actually push it pretty far. And um, yeah, the uh, the effect is, is pretty good. Um, and now it looks like it's kind of dripping and drooping under gravity. So now um, I'll collapse this layer and I will go and do all the other drips in just the same way. So for example, this drip, I'm still in the pan behind tool. So I grab the anchor point, move it to the very top of the drip, 
look at its um, scale parameters, I can get that quickly with the shortcut S. So I'm looking at scale, I want to decouple X and Y, and I want to set a keyframe here at zero frames with the X scale, sorry, Y scale at 100. And then here at 750 frames, um, I can bring that, maybe that can be quite a fast moving one, for example, there we go. So those two are dripping and I will do the same for all the others. Now I've got my drips moving fairly slowly um, and at quite a uniform pace. You could, for example, if I select all the layers and I'm just gonna hit U to bring up the keyframes. What you could do is you could select all of these end keyframes and for example, bring them forward so that the whole animation happens um, a lot faster or you could also vary some of these so you know this drip moves quickly this one's slow slower that's another quick one to so just add a little bit of variety and variation um, maybe um, some of these thicker ones would move faster so you could bear that in mind um, for a bit of realism you could also select all of these keyframes and hit f9 to put an easy ease on them which just means that they will start off a little slower and then the speed will ramp up and then towards the end again they'll just sort of slow down and come to a rest um, which can be gentler, a gentler type of animation. But that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of this quick and dirty um, liquid dripping effect. <laughs>